Hi, my name's Isaac from Project Persephalus, and I'm going to be showing you how to program the Spike Prime self balancing bike prime. This program will use an algorithm known as a PID control loop. I won't go into detail about how this works in this video, but you can find a link to an explanation in the description. To start off, you want to open the LEGO Education Spike software and create a new project using word blocks. Call it Bike Prime. This program will use a lot of variables in order to keep track of all the values we need. So we're going to start by going to the variables section and making all the variables we're going to need. Start with balance target. Heading target, steer power, KP, KI, KD, KH, error, integral, derivative, heading, previous error, and result. Take a look at the list of variables, make sure that yours matches mine, and then we can start putting blocks on the canvas. The first thing we're going to do, before the robot even starts driving, is we're going to make sure that the steering wheel is actually pointing straight. We we'll go to the motors section, and we want to grab the shortest path block and we're going to tell motor F to go to shortest path to position 0. Then going to go to control and wait one second and we're going to duplicate those two blocks because if the steering wheel started too far away from position 0 it will occasionally overshoot itself. This allows it to allows us to be extra certain that the steering wheel is lined up correctly. The next step is to initialize our variables. This means setting them to specific values before they are used to make sure we don't get any unexpected results. We're going to start by setting balance target to zero, then heading target also to zero, Steer power gets set to 3. Then we're going to do KP at 2. KI at negative 0 0.02. KD at 16. K and KH at 0.26. These K variables are what is known as gain values. They are what allow us to tune how different parts of the algorithm affect the final result. These are the values we use for Byte Prime. They're not 100% perfect, although they will allow your robot to balance for at least a few meters, depending on what surface you run it on. The next step is to start the primary drive wheels moving. So go to the movement tab and we're going to set movement speed to 80%. Going to set our movement motors to B and A. Make sure you have them the right way around, otherwise your bike prime is going to try and drive backwards. And then we're going to start moving straight. The next step is the actual calculations we use to balance. We want to do these calculations several times per second, so from the control tab we're going to use a repeat until loop block. From the operator section we want a greater than operator and an absolute value of operator. 
and then we're going to grab from the sensors section we're going to grab the hub angle sensor and we're going to set it to roll we're going to change this value to 70 so now we will repeat this loop until the absolute value of the roll angle is greater than 70 degrees which will mean that the robot has fallen over. From the variables tab you now want to grab the set block and we're going to set error. We're going to need a subtraction operator and we'll set error to be equal to the balance target minus the roll angle. This will set error to a numerical representation of how far off course our robot is and in which direction. The next step is setting integral. Integral is going to be set to integral plus error times 0.25. So put an addition operator in, put a multiplication operator on the right side and fill in the blanks with integral error and the last one is 0 0.25. The third part of the calculation is derivative. We're going to set derivative to be equal to error minus previous error. Grab the operator and the variables and put them in like so. We're then going to set previous error to be equal to the current error. For the fourth step of the calculations, we're going to set heading and it's going to be equal to heading target minus the your sensor. Like so. Now we need to combine all these separate steps together. We have one final set variable block. Then we're going to set result equal to error by kp plus integral by ki plus derivative by kd plus heading by kh. This means we're going to need a multi step addition with four inputs. Each one of those inputs is going to have a multiplication operator and then you just need to fill in the blanks with variables. So the first one is error and kp followed by integral of ki derivative with KD and heading with KH. Now we have our resulting value, we need to actually tell the robot what to do with this. And to do that, we actually need to use an advanced motor block. We click on this button in the bottom left right here and select more motors. Once you've enabled more motors, if you scroll down on the far left, you should see the more motors button here. And we're going to grab the one that says start motor at percentage power. We're going to change that to port F. And we're going to start the motor at result percentage power. Now we just need to actually tell the robot to stop moving once it falls over. But to do that, we grab the stop moving block and put it after the loop. Then a stop motor block set to port F. 
And finally, we want to tell port F to go to shortest path to position 0, so that there's less work for us when we reset the robot. And that is the completed Spike Prime program. Connect to your Spike Prime hub and download and test it.